explain how an impulse passes along the membrane of a neuron. A question that I really enjoy, and I really enjoy teaching it and answering it as well. I want you to think about it in terms of um, what happens normally when it's at rest, so the resting potential, what happens when the membrane along the neuron gets activated, or um, an action potential, and finally what happens when the action potential goes back down to normal, so or the restoration to resting potential. Let's think about the first part, the resting potential. So what is a resting potential? This is where everything or the membrane is at rest. All the cations are at rest and they haven't moved. And the resting potential is at negative 70 millivolts, with a majority of sodium ions on the outside of the cell and a majority of the potassium ions on the inside of the cell. And this is what I'm going to write um, now. So the next two points are just showing that there are more sodium ions on the outside of the nerve cell and more potassium ions on the inside. And I haven't really found a clever way of remembering this, but just remember that sodium is on the outside. Sodium is on the outside and it moves towards the inside during the action potential. All right, so there are more potassium ions on the inside of the nerve cell. Now, what happens now is that we move we talk about the action potential. When the threshold potential of negative 50 millivolts is reached, sodium ion channels, rather, so not sodium ions, but sodium ion channels, they open. And once these sodium ion channels, they open, then this causes sodium to rush inside the cell. And sodium is Na+, which is a plus, so it's a, single, it's a positive ion, and as this rushes in, then it's going to go from negative 50, and it's going to go positive, 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 up to about positive 30 millivolts. And this is called depolarization. After the sodium ion, ch ion channels open, then potassium channels then open. And what this does is that this causes potassium to go from its normal resting spot, which is outside the cell, and to come inside, um, which is inside the cell rather. So it goes from inside to outside. And then this causes potassium, and then this causes what is called repolarization. So think of the positive leaving the cell. So what's going to happen? It's going to become, it's going to go from plus 30, and it's going to go to zero, to negative, to negative, and it's going to go back down. And then as the repolarization occurs. What happens after that is that the sodium and potassium, they reverse. So every time something happens, in order to re restore it back to normal, then a, the reverse has to happen. And this is called, uh, this is using sodium potassium pumps. The final thing is that this action potential propagates along the nerve, and then this causes the nerve signal to travel along the axon.